Step number one of getting more views on YouTube Shorts every time you post is making sure that you're actually creating content that's the right length because a one to two second difference in the length of the post you're creating could be the difference between your post getting 100,000 views or getting 1,000 views. In fact, this creator right here just changed the lengths that they're creating posts and they were able to gain over 250,000 subscribers as a result. The same thing could happen to you if you make these changes also. So the three best lengths you need to be posting in right now, one are eight to 15 seconds, two from 31 to 35 seconds, seconds and three from 55 to 60 seconds. But I will warn you, not all those lengths are created equal. In fact, two of them are going to result in drastically higher views. But before I share with you which ones that is, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quicker on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, I've literally uploaded a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free YouTube growth course. You can get it at the pinned comment below. It's going to tell you things like the best time to post on YouTube and the best hashtags to use because unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to cover those things in this video. So when it comes to those lengths, the first and second, meaning eight to 15 seconds or 31 to 35 seconds are going to be the easiest ones for you to actually create a viral post. In fact, if you're creating posts that are 40 to 50 seconds long or even 50 to 60 seconds long, it could be the reason that you're not getting the views that you want. One of the simplest ways that you could test this is create multiple videos for the same exact topic. For example, if you're making a video about affiliate marketing, try an eight to 15 second version, a 31 to 35 second version and a 55 to the 60 second version and I bet you're gonna see the most views from either the first video or the second video and the reason for this is because depending on the length of content you're creating it drastically changes the metrics that you actually have to hit to get more views on YouTube. Now, the great part about YouTube Shorts is there are really only two metrics that actually matter. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to make note of is this swipe rate that you're seeing on your shorts. In order to see it, you need to go into the analytics on a specific short and you need to look at reach. Now, if the video's been up for a really long period of time, you cannot just go with this face number it's gonna show you. So. When it comes to what percentage of people you need to view the video, it needs to be 80% or higher. If it's not that, immediately the video isn't going to get any reach because it's not keeping people on YouTube. And since this video has been up for a long time, I wanna show you how you can actually find a more accurate version of this, which is gonna be first 24 hours. So as you can see, in the first 24 hours, 73%, it simply wasn't high enough, and that's why this video didn't get pushed out. And if we contrast that with a video that did end up getting a lot of views, guess what we're going to see? We're going to see a much higher viewed rate on here. In fact, this is 70% again at 300,000 views. So if we come over here, change this to 24 hours, boom, 78%, 80%. It's basically the same thing, but that's not the only metric you need to be paying attention to. The second metric that you need to look at is going to be how long people actually watch a video for, aka the average percentage viewed. And like I shared with you earlier, if a video is less than 30 seconds long or 30 seconds long, this needs to be over 100%. And if the video is 31 seconds or longer, this drops down to 80%. So this video right here was 30 seconds long. I needed this to be 100% and it was 100%. And remember, the long longer that the video is up for, like if we do since published here, this is going to show, well, it's actually not, but typically this would show as a little bit less. And then if you change this the first 24 hours, it would actually show you the accurate amount. In addition to that, what you need to make sure that you're paying attention to is the length of the piece of content, because again, it's going to drastically affect what you need to hit here. For example, this video is 40 seconds long, 77%, again, close to that 80%. And if we come over here and change this to the first 24 hours, we might see something different, but no, in this case, still 77%. But at the end of the day, you need that to be as close to 80% as possible. If you're not one or two points off from being at 80%, that's going to be the reason that your video didn't get views. Or you could be messing up the last and most important thing when it comes to getting views on YouTube, which is whether or not YouTube actually has an audience for the piece of content you're gonna be creating. And there are two ways that you can mess this up. The first way you can mess this up is by not searching for it before you go and actually create a video. For example, if I was going to create a video about how to get six pack abs, I would wanna make sure that I go and do a search for that and see that other shorts have done really well for that and are recently uploaded. And the easiest way for you to do that is actually to go to YouTube and do a search. I'll show you how. So there are actually two ways that you could do this. The first thing that you do is come up here and type in how to get six pack abs. And then from here, you're going to see recently uploaded. Now what this is gonna show you is whether or not there's a large audience for this. And obviously there's a super large audience for this, but if nothing showed up, what you could do is put hashtag shorts here and then it would only show you shorts. And as you could see, these shorts get drastically different views. But what you didn't take note of is how long they've actually been up for. And by the way, you could also change this to shorts right here and see only shorts. And again, these videos have been up for nine months 
one year, seven months, two years. So guess what? These videos are taking a long amount of time in order to get views. But again, if we come under recently uploaded, this is gonna show you that people are getting a solid amount of views in a really short period of time. And that's something that you need to actually take into consideration because it's going to set your expectations. You might upload something to YouTube and say, why didn't it go viral in the first 24 hours? Which by the way, would be making a huge mistake because 99% of the views that you get, especially on shorts, are going to come after the first 24 hours. In fact, one of two things is going to happen. Either one, you're not going to hit the metrics that YouTube actually wanted and that's why your video didn't do well. And if it was a good topic, well, guess what? Create another video on that topic. Or what you could end up having happen is that it just took a long period of time for YouTube to actually find an audience for that piece of content. Because listen, if you upload a good video to YouTube, you get the right swipe ratio, you have the right amount of people watching it, you have the right title tags and description, guess what's going to happen? YouTube eventually is going to find an audience for that piece of content. But it just may take a long period of time. In fact, my most viewed videos on YouTube didn't get a lot of views the second that I uploaded them. It took a day or two for them to really take off. But boy, once they took off, they did absolutely amazing. And the same thing might be gearing up for the content you're creating. Or you might be putting the wrong titles, tags, and descriptions in your content, which is going to destroy the reach that you get. And the easiest way for you to make sure that you're not making a mistake like that is you need to start with what already exists on YouTube and understand that YouTube is a competition. If you make a video about how to get six pack abs and your friend makes a video about how to get six pack abs and his video is better, well, guess what? YouTube is going to give him more views and you're probably wondering, but Rob, what does better actually mean? Better means that he saw better metrics. It kept people on YouTube for a longer period of time. His average view percentage was much higher and his swipe ratio was lower aka way more people chose to actually view his content. And then as a result, YouTube is going to push his content out more. But don't worry, because you can go and make another version and another version and another version. And eventually, you will be able to get views on YouTube so long as you're creating a better video than he's creating. But remember, those second, third, fourth time that you go to create that piece of content, you're actually going to have a huge advantage because you can take from what worked for him and do it in yours. And that's exactly what I recommend that you do in your content if you want to end up getting more views. Now, since you're so serious about getting more views on YouTube and getting monetized on YouTube, I personally want to help you. In fact, I want to look at your channel, tell you everything I would do differently for your specific niche to guarantee that you get more subscribers in the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting and you personally want to work with me, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers, and the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is 1,000 subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now, because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high and if you don't remember you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube so this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time youtuber in fact I'm going to tell you exactly what to post when to post what hashtags use again to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube if you don't get more subscribers I will give you your money back zero questions asked and it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is this program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier ultimately it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more subscribers or you're gonna get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.